वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट आवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल ओवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you The device used is IC741, which is an operational amplifier. This is the pin diagram of IC741. If the input is applied at the inverting pin, then the amplified output of pin is inverted. And if we apply the input at non-inverting pin, then the amplified output of pin is not inverted. So this is the inverting amplifier. So this is the inverting amplifier. The input is applied at the inverting terminal, and the non-inverting terminal is grounded. This device requires dual power supply. So 12 volt is applied at pin 7 and minus 12 volt is applied at pin 4. So this was the inverting amplifier. This is the circuit diagram of non-inverting amplifier. As you can see, the input is given at the non-inverting pin and the inverting pin is grounded. And this is the feedback resistor and the output is obtained here. So this was the circuit diagram of uh, inverting amplifier and non-inverting amplifier. Now let us implement the circuit. This is how the inverting amplifier is implemented on breadboard. So, uh, the device used is IC741. So here is an IC741. You can see the notch is here. So uh, these are the corresponding pins and the use of their pins. Oh. So referring the diagram, as we can see, the input is applied at the inverting terminal, which is pin two. So this is the input through resistor. The input is applied at the pin two. The third pin, which is the non-inverting pin, is grounded. The third pin is is grounded. Uh, there is a feedback resistor which is connected from second pin to the sixth pin. Sixth pin is the output pin. The resistor is connected from the second pin to the sixth pin, and this. is the output pin and uh, the voltages are applied at seventh pin and fourth pin so this was the implementation of inverting amplifier now we are going to discuss the implementation of non inverting amplifier this is the implementation of non inverting amplifier so in non inverting amplifier the input is given at the at pin 3 the input is given at pin 3 this is the input wire and the pin 2 is grounded through 1k resistor this is the 1k resistor and this is how this pin is used to ground and the the feedback resistor is connected to pin 6 and 6 and second so second and 6 and this is the output which we are going to obtain function generator with a frequency 1 kilohertz and the voltage applied is 100 millivolt peak to peak this is the input the input is connected at the pin 2 because it is an inverting amplifier now the op amp requires a dual power supply so in order to achieve a dual power supply the negative terminal is connected with the positive terminal uh, this which acts as a ground and this is the positive which i have already set in 12 volts so this is the plus 12 voltage and this is minus 12 voltage you can see you can see the multimeter This is the ground, and this is the voltage applied. So, twelve point one two. And for here, here we get the voltage as minus twelve volt. So, now the voltages are applied to the op amp. Uh, now we are going to check the output. In order to check the output, the channel two is connected to the output wire. So, as we can see, uh, the output is obtained uh, since it is the input. we gave was 100 millivolts peak to peak so 50 millivolts into 2 is 100 millivolts and for the output 0.2 volts into 1 2 3 4 means we send is 800 millivolts 
that's all for inverting amplifier now let us implement non inverting amplifier so this was the non inverting amplifier in this the input is applied at pin 3 and the pin 2 is grounded through this register now let <coughs> in order to check the output the pin 6 wire is connected to channel 2 of the CRO so the output is obtained uh, since it is at 0.2 volt 0.2 into 1 2 3 4 5 so we uh, the output obtained is 1 volt thank you